in the wake of the Supreme Court arguments over the Affordable Care Act, we've been hearing an awful lot about judicial activism. In fact, the president said it would be unprecedented for an unelected group of people, meaning the Supreme Court, to strike down the Affordable Care Act on constitutional grounds. That transparent attempt to undermine the legitimacy of the courts was so stark that it prompted the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in Texas to order the Department of Justice to state in writing its position on judicial review. Writing for the department, Attorney General Eric Holder conceded the validity of judicial review going all the way back to Marbury versus Madison, but he argued that courts owe Congress a nearly irrebuttable presumption of constitutionality of legislative acts and deference bordering on judicial abdication. That is absolutely false. The truth of the matter is, government recognizes no limits to its own power. The only way we will ever have limited government in this country is if we have courts that are committed to fully enforcing constitutional limits on government power. That is not judicial activism. That is judicial engagement, and that is the whole point of having a constitution. People who talk about judicial activism claim that courts are constantly second-guessing the legislature and preventing it from engaging in legitimate policymaking. There is absolutely no evidence to support this. To the contrary, the Institute for Justice published a study called Government Unchecked, in which we compared the total number of laws passed by the state and federal governments with the number of laws struck down by the Supreme Court. The results were astonishing. Of the 15,817 laws passed by Congress between 1954 and 2002, the Supreme Court struck down just 103, less than two-thirds of 1%. And of the more than 1 million state laws passed during that time frame, the Supreme Court struck down less than 1 20th of 1%. That is absolutely not judicial activism. Courts have a perfectly valid and important role in enforcing constitutional limits on government power. And to accuse them of activism when they do that threatens our liberty and the whole framework of limited government that the Constitution was designed to create. Judges enforcing the Constitution is not activism. It's judicial engagement. And if we're going to continue to be a free country, we need a lot more of it.